Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying this basically another request but it's a request that uh, I've, geez, I've been asked many many times and I've never done it I'm going to be tying this fly, this here now there's a fly called the Apps Worm now way back in the mid 90s uh, when this when Flexifloss first came out we were all experimenting at the time uh, I tied lots of midge pupa, but especially with it. Uh, it made the magazines, uh, but it was when it was in the magazine, it just it went crazy. But the uh, this pattern, or sorry, the the leggy, this using the flexifloss like this, really taken off. And uh, I mean, I have fished it a wee way back, so a long, long time since I've tied these. Uh, I got asked if I could. Now this is the version I did of the blood worm. Now, using a straggle in the body, the original didn't have anything on the body. Uh, you could put a bead on it, uh, even a bead in the centre, and it would, it would work, somehow worked it out. But there was lots of styles developed from the basic one. The blood worm was the one that I fished. I've never fished any other colour, though all of it is very good. All of it is uh, a great colour. But I'm going to tie the one that I originally tied. Now, it's basically very simple. Uh, you just need uh, super stretch floss, or originally, as I say, it was called flexi floss. There's uniflex, so there's depending on the company you use. Obviously, I'm going to be using red. But in the fly, I'm, I'm going to be using this is, I'll get my finger on my email there, but a way, way long time ago, there was a gentleman who died of came up with a colour called Sunburst. Now, uh, he, he made the, I got him to dye the straggle, or the straggle fritz, or long hair fritz was the original name. Now, this is some of the original packets I've got here, and this is the original uh, straggle that uh, the gentleman dyed uh, for us. And this is, uh, so, I happen, I've still got it, it's 20 odd years old, that's a long, it's a fair age. Uh, as I say, it's a long time since I've tied this part, so I'm going to tie it. now. You could, as I say, you could tie it in different colours, all colours work, all is good as I say, but red was the, the original and the one I caught on. A great winter fly, it was really good in the winter months, uh, and it basically worked extremely well. Now, hook choice, this is a uh, full and mill I'm using, the uh, size 10, it's a competition heavyweight, this is a barbless version, you can see a size 10. Thread to cry by the red, or in this case fire orange, I, I use the fire orange just to lift the colour or give it a boost underneath that lifted the red. So I'm going to come down maybe 3 or 4 mil and come back up to about head length away. I'm going to make two lengths of this floss, this super stretch floss, whatever you want to call it. Now the length is basically a couple of inches or so over the front. Now, I was never fussy in how it went on, I just tied it on. See what it's like, let's see, make sure it's the right length. There you go. That's the, or the same length anyway. And then all I did was just stretch it out, work towards the back of the hook. To that point, just I usually turn a wee turn underneath. Come back up halfway. I obviously trimmed my length at the back, the same length as the front round, but the same. Obviously got a couple of lengths here, but you could either put the two on, or you could put a single one on. Uh, just make sure I'm in the middle, and there we are. And then all I did was just wrap it round a couple of times. Just got the hook. I usually tied it mainly in the, uh, in the top. Just make sure it's uh, both the same length, you can check. Make sure you can pull it to sit. And once you were happy, you could just do a figure eight, just like just like this, just a figure eight through. Now, that in itself would do. That would work just as a normal arps worm, perfect. Uh, and then just a matter of tying off. But I liked it with the straggle. Now the straggle red. Really nice and bright, you want a nice scarlet or a nice bright red. So I'm just going to catch this on. I mean, it's a simple fly, it's a simple pattern, as they say, just wind up. 
take a thread all the way up to the eye. There we are, and then we just I like to try and stroke the fibre so that when I'm winding it up, it's not getting trapped. You will trap some fibre, so don't worry, but just take your time. Just making the body with it and making it very leggy like. Just work your way up. And I say, just try and encourage the fibre, stroke your fibres back as you wind so you don't trap too many. Uh, a lot of people are going to scratch their head when they see this fly, but it was just one of the modern style type flies, that, and it really worked. Uh, I was surprised how well it worked. And especially when I tried it for the grayling, it, I was surprised how well it worked. And when you catch it basically at the back first, just with a turn, and lift the legs out of the way. Three or four turns in, just to hold it, and then trim. Just watch your legs when you do that. And then just tidy the head up, nice and tight. There you go. And that's it. Simple as that. It could even be simpler, as I say. You don't need to put the the straggle in the middle or in the in the body. You could just use the thread. There we are. And then what I like to do is just I blow the hair dryer through it just to open the legs out a wee bit better. Get some to sit, and then I mean you can see how well it moves. I uh, I can see this working even for like steelhead if you're even fishing for steelhead. Uh, the rainbows would go crazy for this. I know they did in the lochs, like so. Give it a go. As I say, you can change the colours. Uh, all the colours work, even black. Black's a good colour as well. But the original one I tied was this one. This is the original pattern I tied. Uh, 20, whew, 20, 20 odd years ago, 25, easy 25 years ago. So there we are. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a go, I'm sure. I'm telling you, not, you'll be surprised how well it works. And then that's my version of the apps worm. So thank you for watching. Until next time.